What up losers? Big day today. First ever package reveal, reveal video. So UPS just came to the door. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let's go see what's in those packages. Alright, first package. Very aggressive looking knife. Woo! I'm replacing the old nasty radiator overflow. Now I got this nice stainless steel one. Yeah, it's a nice one. So that should replace that old gross grimy one I have. Hopefully it works. Nothing ever does. Actually I lied and that's not the one I got. This is the one I meant to get. So I returned that one and picked this up at Jags. This just looks better. All right, package two. All right, so it's a low car shift indicator. Here's all the electronics that are gonna go to the shifter. Yeah, that's what's gonna tell me what gear I am and everything, so. That does not look like fun. Anything with electronics I'm terrible with. And the low car shift boot. So here's more of a close look of the shifter and the boot. It's gonna look sweet. That's gonna go straight onto the floor and then the boot's gonna come around the shifter make it more look like a manual transmission. And hopefully I can get close enough. You can see right here, these will light up. So it keeps that clean, classy look. It makes it look like a manual even though it's an automatic. All right, final package. Speedway Motors ordered this. This is supposed to be a six inch shifter. Looks pretty big for that, but we'll see. All right, low car shifter. Let's, hopefully we got the one we ordered. Woo! All right, all the hardware for this. That looks like way more hardware than I thought it was gonna be. Woo! The new shifter. Oh. So yeah, I just want to go with a different shifter than the T-handle. I think this one looks real clean. It works for the 700R, and um, it's badass. Especially with the white pool ball shifter on the top, it's gonna look really good and not as, you know, trailer trash in the car. So, try and make it a little classier. Hopefully it is. Spend enough money on this. So um, yeah, I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna try and install it all. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I just realized I never did a good job explaining why I wanted a new shifter in my car. Well, this one came with the Nova when I bought it, and it's a piece of crap. It works, and if people want to pay, it's only like $150 at Jake's. But the sun has like faded the metal on it, and it's been flaky. And honestly, this isn't even for a 700R4 transmission. It's only got three gears, and the 700R4 has four gears. So I just wanted to change it and be able to hit all gears. All right, so now we're back at Mike's, and yeah, this is the old radiator overflow. It was definitely time to change it. This thing looks terrible. And like I said earlier, this is what we're replacing that old radiator overflow with. And here it is. I slowed down the video. I didn't get very good video of it, but it looks perfect in the car. Just fits right there next to the radiator, so I think it's awesome. Looks clean, and I'm glad to take out the old gross radiator overflow can. Oh my gosh, I wish someone had told me before I bought this shifter it was going to be the biggest pain in the butt trying to fit. So this shifter is meant for a 700R4 transmission. The only issue is my car was built for a 350 transmission. So the transmission tunnel is not cooperating with the shifter. So it's pretty much like I'm trying to fit a square into a circle. 
The bracket just keeps banging up against the transmission tunnel, so there's only a few options we have. It's either relocating the shifter all the way up by the dashboard, which will look terrible, or cutting out the floor some more, and we really don't want to do that. So hopefully in the next video, I'll have um, an update for you guys, and hopefully it's installed. But uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.